Well, our recent rainfall has been great news after a particularly dry spring. Even with the rain, our water year fell below normal and is continuing to trend downward. So what does that mean for our reservoirs we depend on for our water? I turn to the Idaho Bureau of Reclamation for answers. Water. It's essential to life here in the Treasure Valley. But drought has taken hold of the West, and the Gem State is no exception. A drier than average spring coupled with a below normal water year is raising questions over our reservoir's current capacity, which is on the decline. A reservoir is an artificial lake where water is stored from rain or snow melt. They help prevent downriver flooding and store water for future use. In southwestern Idaho, Arrow Rock, Lucky Peak, Anderson Ranch, and Lake Lowell reservoirs make up a part of the Boise River Basin. The Boise River Basin currently sits at 50 to 70 percent of normal stream flow, according to the National Resources Conservation Service. Arrow Rock Reservoir, in particular, is currently sitting at 59 percent capacity and continuing to trend downward. And experts say it will not reach full or even average capacity this water year. So the black line is an average of the Boise system. So that's an average amount of water that we have in Anderson Air Rock and Lucky Peak. Currently, we are sitting below average and will continue to uh, decline. Meanwhile, the Boise Basin is just one snowpack that feeds our reservoir. It's currently sitting at a snow water equivalent of 28% of normal. Snow water equivalent is the amount of liquid water contained within a snowpack. And experts predict full melt will likely occur nearly three weeks earlier than normal. So what does this mean for you? Ryan Hedrick is a water operations expert with the Bureau of Reclamation. Well, the, some of the big uh, impacts will be recreation. There'll be uh, limited use on some of the reservoirs. You'll have a lot lower water. Uh, another great impact is to the irrigators. There'll be less water allocated to them. And so they'll have to run a lot leaner. Even residents who may be on pressurized irrigation, you may see the your irrigation water turned off earlier this year than normal. And he tells me these impacts directly affect both irrigation and summer recreation. And with summer quickly approaching, the community needs to be aware. Boat docks may not be able to be used. Boat ramps may get too low to use later in the summer. To see my entire interview and an interactive look at southwestern Idaho's reservoirs, head to IdahoNews.com.